I am reading The How to Be a Bad Bitch by Amber Rose, and I'm reading a section of The Gay Best Friend. I'm very serious about this. Every girl should have a gay best friend. There are so many reasons. Obviously, it's a stereotype that all gay boys know about fashion and makeup, but my gay friends do tend to give me some of the best inspiration and feedback on the look ever. And whatever my gay BFFs are talking to me about, they trend to be really honest and upfront. I think this has to do with how much courage and it can take to realize you're gay and come out to your family in the world, even when there are still so many haters out there. Going through all of that can help build an inner strength and confidence, and that's bound to make them into certified bad bitches. You don't want people tearing you down, but you also don't want people to have you don't also want to have people around you who will be real with you. And you want to know how I feel about that. Yep, that's on what you just read. Do you agree with Amber? Do you not agree? Um, I agree with her. She's using um, like the gay stereotypical world to use an example on how she feels people should portray you and how you should act. Um, I do agree with it. Like you shouldn't give a fuck. Do you personally have a gay best friend? I do. I wouldn't say he's my best friend, but I do have a gay friend that I love him. He don't. It's just like the whole world judging you. They feel like you gay and you shouldn't be gay. And they have so many reasons on why they feel you shouldn't be gay. But you have this one person who everybody hate, but they still walk around in this world and they don't give a fuck. So it's kind of like that's why he's my friend, because I want to have friends who don't care about what nobody thinks. So I do respect Amber Rose for that one passage that I have written in this book.